If you want to know how this tough lady made it from this shape into this shape, you should watch this video. This is Hope. She's a former Indonesian street dog and we found her in April 2018 while we visited the country. She was lying aside a very noisy and dirty street and was in obvious bad condition. My girlfriend made contact to an animal rights group and together with a local vet we collected her and brought her with a taxi to another vet to have her checked from A to Z. We have given our dog the name Hope and visited her every day. In the beginning it was still itchy and scratchy everywhere and she didn't have much trust in humans. After a short warming up however, she started to enjoy the contact and even came to us. She's been very hungry too and has eaten a lot to make up weight, which clearly made her happy. Every day she got more and more confident and she made sure that she's getting all the cuddling she wanted to have. Together with the organizations we could find relatively quickly an intermediary home where she could recover and get all the medical treatment she needed. Her skin also started to recover and she looked like a healthy duck again. Four and a half months later the big day came. She arrived in Amsterdam airport, which was a very emotional and happy situation for her new mother. We had the impression that the dog remembered us and was very happy to see us after a very exhaustive travel. Surprisingly, she's been incredibly open towards us and enjoyed her new life from the very first minute without being afraid. She even had a maximum of trust towards us. Being back in Germany, of course, we needed to start practicing with her. But she's learning very quickly and is so curious to investigate the new environment she's in. Birds and squirrels were very interesting for her in the beginning. Grasshoppers, mice and lizards are totally surprising her and let her freak out. She loves digging holes and to chase after me. It's especially funny when she's making these noises. She has developed this equally cute and vicious death jump to hunt any wildlife, but so far she hasn't been successful. she keeps on trying. She likes to give and also to receive some love. To play with her proper toys. And also the ones which weren't supposed to be toys but she has chosen them to be one. Probably due to her previous experience she's sometimes afraid of humans but she's socializing with other dogs very well. And she's playing with them no matter how big they are. She also likes chilling in the mud, but also to go through the forest and to totally freak out. <laughs> and to run and jump through it. After a hard day, she likes sleeping a lot and to claim her 20 finger massage. Not everything is perfect though and it requires a lot of patience and training, especially leaving her alone. But isn't it worth it in the end to make such a face? Into such a face? To help it's not even necessary to dope a dog. You can of course stop, give some love, water and something to eat, which will however only help for the moment. Make sure the dog doesn't belong to anybody. Google if you can find any animal protection organizations in the area where you stay. Contact them via Facebook or Instagram or something else. And see if you can organize together a transfer to a local vet. What you definitely should do is, you should bring some interest and also invest some time and don't call some people and just tell them there's a dog which you can collect. Maybe because of your help, animals who are living on borrowed time can get healthy again, find a new home and have a happy life. 
I will put some names of organizations we work with while we travel through Indonesia and Bali. Maybe it helps you as well when you are there. Please like, comment and share this video if you liked it. And also hit the subscribe button for future adventures. Also leave us a comment if you've rescued any animals and share your story with us.